Hey everyone, and now let's start to talk about organic chemistry in more details and let's dive into the topic and explore its different branches. So as we said in the previous video, we're going to start by studying alkanes. And alkanes have the suffix of ane, A-N-E. Now alkanes, this family is the simplest, so it's the simplest family in organic chemistry OC for simplicity and alkanes form singular bonds not a double bond not a triple bond so all alkanes form singular bonds which means that they are saturated hydrocarbons and we, as we said before hydrocarbons are compounds that involve carbon and hydrogen only now alkanes the different compounds inside this family are related using this formula which is CnH 2n plus 2 this is why they are a family they are related by this formula for example let's see so the first member of the family which is n equals 1 is CH4 surprisingly this is methane and we know methane from before it's it's a gas that and it's a hydrocarbon at the same time so methane has the structure C in the middle and has four hydrogen surrounding it see they're all singular bonds as we mentioned before and it's alkane since it has the suffix now we want to get into the details of naming alkanes and you notice here methane is the first member of the family and it has a meth prefix now what if we increase for example we want to go to the next member which is n equals 2 for example so n equals 2 according to the formula is c 2 h now 2 times 2 is 4 plus 2 is 6 so c 2 h 6 and this one we call it ethane so s -ain. and you see that here the prefix changed it's s not meth but the suffix is the same so in conclusion when naming alkanes the suffix remains the same now let's scroll to have more space but the prefix changes now let's look at the different prefixes we have for the family we have from 1 up to 10 prefixes so let's start so we said the first member is n equals 1 which is mess in now n equals 2 is s -ain. now the third member is prop -ain. and you notice here the prefix is prop now let's move on to the fourth member of the family n equals 4 which is butane here the suffix is ain and the prefix is but. Now let's move on to the fifth member, which is gonna be pentane. Now here the prefix is pent and then the suffix is ain. Now the sixth member of the family is hexane. 
and the prefix here is hex. Now we only have three more n equals 7, n equals 8, n equals 9, actually 4. I need to learn my math. Now n equals 7 is heptane and here the prefix is hept. Now I think by now you know the trend. So the next one is octane. And try guessing what the prefix is in this case. Yes, you guessed right, it's oct. And number nine is, I don't know if I'm gonna pronounce it correctly, but it's nonane. So it's O-N-O-N, ain. And finally, finally, decane. So this is how you name alkanes. You start first with the prefix, and then you have the suffix, which is constant throughout the family. Now, those prefixes, we're going to use them again in alkenes and alcohols and so on and so forth. So, we're going to see how will that turn out to be. But for now, these are the names of the family. We have 10 different names. So, I just want to point out something extra for this video and then we're done. Which is alkyl groups. Let's write it here. Alkyl groups. And alkyl groups are denoted by R. And alkyl groups is a group formed by the removal of one hydrogen atom from an alkane molecule. Now, let's see how will that apply. So, for example, we said methane is CH4. If we remove one hydrogen to form an alkyl group, that means we're going to have CH3. And this is going to be methyl. Now, the suffix here is "-ile", because now it's an alkyl group. Let's look at another example, which is ethane, and we said ethane has the formula C2H6. What if we want to remove one hydrogen? So we're going to have C2H5, and that's going to be ethyl. So, ethyl. Now here, the suffix is "-ile", the same thing, and we have eth, this is the prefix. And the aisle indicates that it's an alkyl group. Now, that's that for this video. In the next video, we're going to continue the discussion of alkenes, the properties, and so on and so forth. So stay tuned and good luck.